Hello everyone and welcome to another showcase session. My name is Hal and if you're new to the series, this is where we take what we've learned in the dark table from A to Z tutorials and apply them to process an image. Everything that we're going to use is already covered and there will be links on the screen to the relevant videos as we go along. The link to download this image can be found in the description below. This way you can try your hand at editing it as well. Let's crack on. First we're going to start with the white balance as usual. I think it's already quite okay but I'm going to try and see if it can get better. Well certainly not like that but if we just select her dress yeah that looks good. Usually next is exposure, but I think that's quite okay for this one. I think the midtones are quite well exposed. I'm just gonna go straight to filmic and let's see. It's the white a little bit, the other way. If you put your mouse over the scroll bar here and use the wheel, you can control it from your mouse wheel. I think that's okay. Relative the black relative exposure as well, a little bit high. And then let's see if we need to use the reconstruct, maybe a little bit. Let's see if anything's yeah, maybe those just a little bit. I'm not sure if it really matters, but uh, this area is a little bit overexposed, the yellow. I think my goal in general is going to be to make this a little bit softer, the image, maybe give it a painting look, something pastel or old photo. It looks like there's a lot of yellow and it's distracting from her face. Well, let's see. Um, I think we're done with filmic. Hmm, didn't look at the crop. I somehow was okay with it, but now that I look at those, I think let's try to crop it. I think it's better if we get rid of this foreground here and maybe focus more on her. Make sure it's original image. Let's see. Crop that. Move a little bit down. Yeah, I think that's yeah, certainly better. Not going to bother with local contrast, so Let's move on to the tone equalizer and see if we can dodge and burn her face a bit to add some contrast. I'll enable it, go to masking. I'm just going to use the automatic pipette here to set the mask exposure compensation. Let's display the mask. Pick something that defines her face best, and then I'm going to I'm going to add a mask first on the left side of her face, her left side, huh? and then use well taking both eyes and then brighten it a bit add some feathering yeah let's see yeah let's copy this instance and duplicate it this way I have all the masking I'm just going to reset this by double clicking on it show the masks and delete it by right clicking on it, add another one on her right side, a smaller one, like 
that and then darken it. Might be a bit too dark now. Not gonna mess with the curve. I'm just going to change the opacity. Oh, it looks good. Let's see what have we done. That's before it. And that's after. Yeah. Let's move on to the color balance RGB. And I'm going to switch to vector scope. We can see most of the colors are to no one's surprise yellow. There is a little bit of red and blue and green. I'm going to try and counteract this yellow a bit. Well, at least we'll see. Let's go first to the four ways and maybe add some. Actually, first let's go to the masks and see where the shadows are. Yeah, I think that's a not too surprising, is it? Could have guessed, but it's always good to check. And we know what we're changing. Let's see. A bit of maybe bluish purple. And the shadows. And a bit of orangey yellow to change that color and the highlights. You can see here what we're doing. That might be a bit too much. Oh, we can move it a bit towards the red. So what did we do now? Hmm, okay. Let's see how that works after we change the chroma. So I'm planning to completely desaturate the highlights so that this yellow is a lot softer maybe a bit the shadows as well and then saturate the midtones and yeah okay and see what we've done now that desaturated effect, soft glowing colors that I think really fit with the mood of this photo. Anything else we need to do here? I don't think so. I think I'm happy with it. What else? Um, <laughs> well, I'm gonna need to do some retouching. First, that spot here, just gonna keep it on heel, a circle, and then make sure the circle is big enough for the spot. That's good enough. How about we do some retouching on her face as well? I'm gonna go into blur mode, well, two, and then. Let's see which scale is needed. Like that, yeah, okay. This this one is still needed. Might be good. What happens if we go one further? No, that's too much. I think I'll stay here, and then I'm going to add a drone mask. On the areas that needs to be a bit smooth. The trick here is to find the, at least for me, to find the balance where it smooths her skin a little bit while trying to avoid the horrible plastic look. I'm gonna add one, I'm going to go back to the image, 
and see what the effect is and then change the opacity by pressing control and using the mouse wheel you can see the opacity here change the opacity until the effect is okay but we avoid like I said a unnatural skin it looks okay for this layer go back then I'm gonna add others other masks try to avoid the creases on her face to check the opacity I'll go back to it but let's put one on this side as well you can of course do it all in one mask if you want but it's just uh, I don't know not, not needed um, no it's not so do the same 75 75 75 70, yeah that's all the same let's see okay all right let's move to the next layer do the same too much going to change the opacity Sometimes you've got more details on one layer than the other and it's up to you to see which ones you want to smooth on which not. Make sure it's as well at the same level. And here. I said I'm trying to avoid the creases. But here I'm going to oh it's as well the wrong opacity. And let's add one here on her lip. history stack okay what else do we need I most certainly don't want to sharpen don't want to add haze removal don't even want to denoise there's some noise in it then great maybe brighten her eyes a bit of the hair let's see go here I'm gonna create another exposure instance uh, Push it a bit to the top and let's see. Select her eyes. Don't want any feathering, not in this in any case. 
more. A few strands of hair maybe, that's too much. Let's see. Let's see how that works. I'm going to put a one, then we'll see. That's definitely too much. <laughs> and then some feathering here to lighten the effect. create another one and do a manual vignette invert the shape and just going to go crazy minus two maybe a bit too much minus 1.5 Yeah, I think that's the effect that I was looking for. Let's see. I'm gonna compress it. Where is the crop here? Now take a snapshot, and then we can compare. That's how it was after we cropped it, and that's what we've done. That's it for this video. I hope that you found it entertaining and interesting. If you have any questions, remarks or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.